Hey guys, what is up? It's finally time to make a pastrami video. I'm now in the studio, but we're gonna go inside and work on the brine. Let's go. For our brine spices, we're gonna use one cup of salt, one cup of sugar, five juniper berries, four cloves, three bay leaves, an onion, and three garlic cloves. We'll put these ingredients in water which has a liter of water in it. A liter is a fourth gallon of water. We'll bring this to a boil and let the sugar and salt dissolve and the flavors mix. For our recipe, I have a beautiful two and a half kilograms point brisket. To finish off our brine, we're gonna take three liters of cold water and to that we'll add our hot brine ingredients. This totals up to four liters of water, which is around a gallon. Make sure that your brine is cold and then we can put our beautiful point brisket in. Look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? Two and a half kilograms. There she goes. We'll put a bit of cling film on top. There we go. And now we can set it in the fridge for six days. There we go. Our beautiful brisket flat is done brining. For six days she has been in the fridge, in the brine. Now she's finally done and we get the prepper. I rinsed her off with cold water, I patted her dry with a little bit of paper towel and now we're gonna make a mix as a crust on the outside for the pastrami. So I'm gonna take one third of crushed black pepper, one third of coriander powder, and one third of mustard powder. We'll shake that up, get a good mix. And now we'll start applying this to our brisket flat. And this will create a beautiful bark while we're smoking our brisket. Really wanna press it and let the brisket take upon all that spices. Carefully flip it around to the other side as well. There we go. I've let the Kamada Joe come up to a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius, which is around 290 degrees Fahrenheit. So I put the flat on a dripping tray with a rack on top of it, so it will still absorb all that smoke. We'll close the lid and we'll check on her within uh, an hour or three. I've been smoking the pastrami for nine hours, but the thing is, I wanted to be finished earlier for dinner time. But I ran out of charcoal, happens to the best of us, so uh, it takes a little longer than I expected. Never mind, we're here. The core temperature is 98 degrees Celsius, which is 210 degrees Fahrenheit. She has a really nice bar. Look at that. And if we touch her, she's completely soft. But the outside is so crispy, so it's time to take her off the grill and wrap her in tin foil. Now this thing is hot and fragile, so what I'll do is use a big spatula and get under that bark so we can lift her off. There we go. Onto the tin foil. Wrap her up. There we go, all wrapped up. And now we wait for half an hour and then we'll start slicing into her. This is always the moment which is most exciting. Will she be juicy? Will she be tender? I think I know the answer. But it's always a surprise. Wow. The crust is so hard, it's ridiculous. Mm. Carefully slice into her without destroying too much of the bark. You guys, a nice little bit of smoke ring. She's nice and juicy. And at the same time, she's full apart tender. Now, of course, we're making the pastrami to go on a sandwich. So I got a, a tiger bread, whole one, typical deli style. And the good thing about slicing your own bread, you can slice it as, as thick and as thin as you want. Now, don't be shy. You've earned the right of a big chunk of meat. You worked really hard and you deserve the rewards. 
Look at how juicy that looks. On top of that, we're gonna put some honey mustard sauce. There we go. And again, don't be shy. You've earned the right. You put in all the hard work. Now what I like is to put sauerkraut on top of that, just to balance out that fat of the beef and to make sure that all the sauce is sticking in there. And last but not least, I got a little treat for you going. I've melted some Emmentaler cheese. <laughs> just drop it on there. We got the cheese, we got the pastrami, we got honey mustard sauce, we got sauerkraut. Is this a treat or what? Look at this sandwich. It's huge, right? <laughs> it's ridiculous. But it will be damn tasty, that's for sure. I'm really proud of how the pastrami turned out, especially with the bark. I love that crunchy bark, juicy meat. No wrapping involved here, guys. I'm not worried that my meat dries out. I got enough sauce and cheese to cheer her up. Give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. And I'll uh, see you guys on the next one. <laughs>